What's good y'all? Welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title, we are going to be reviewing the new Murillo Twins X Beauty Creations PR kit. As you can see, this is a sneak peek of the look. So if you guys would like to see my opinions, my first impressions, my review, then keep on watching. But first, if you love a channel full of different and spontaneous content, then follow me along my journey and click that subscribe button down below as well as that little notification bell to have you guys notify when I do upload. And yeah, without further ado, let's get on to this review. So you guys, this is what the packaging looks like. Look at them, they look hella hella stunning. But this is the Murillo Twins featuring Beauty Creations. So just a disclaimer, it is actually my first time trying Beauty Creations out. I've been watching them for such a long time now. They're always keeping everything real. They are really unproblematic, honestly, in my opinion. Just because I like them, that does not mean that I won't be honest about their products. On the back, it has their name sign, Brittany and Brianna. So upon opening it, it has a collapse at the bottom. And by the way, if you get it, don't throw this out, bro. Don't throw them out. If I see one of these out in a trash can, I will throw hands at you personally. Just like in all of my reviews, I do like talking about the product first. So that is what we are going to be talking about before we get onto the try-on and review. Just talking about the products and what is included in the package. And look at how pretty it looks. The whole thing was literally only $79. Yes, you heard that right. $79 for all this makeup. It's kind of like divided in half. In half, so one twin and then the other twin has their style, their own palette, their own lash, their own lip kits. And then in the middle right here is their like contour slash blush that they share. And I thought it was really cool that they have their images on the outside. I've never seen that and I've never seen even like the lash package right here. So yeah, even the lash package is something new to me. So like I said, the whole thing is $79. You can also purchase it individually. Now starting off with the eyeshadow palettes, the palettes itself have like a metal, almost metal coating on the outside. And they said that they wanted to include this because it was different. They wanted it to be easy for you for when you wipe it off, it still looks brand new. And it's also really, really nice that they included the mirrors in each palette you guys retails for 17 there are two palettes one is Brianna's eyeshadow palette and the other one is Britney's eyeshadow palette the next thing I want to talk about is the eyelashes you guys these eyelashes look not only bomb but I already know that they're gonna be bomb on my eyes like I said the packaging is something new I have not seen it before I also like how it's made and the color of it usually for eyelash package you see lots of pinks or purple baby pinks people jack up prices on eyelashes normally the most affordable lash price is around 10 to 12 dollars so the fact that this is like eight dollars that is insane the next thing is their lip kits now when it comes to lip kits, I obviously love that they included a lip liner, but it's also nice that one collection had a gloss and the other collection had a lipstick. I really, really love that. I'm such a gloss junkie. Those lip kits retail for $12. And then finally, we have the Murillo Twins Quad Goals Palette, which retails for $14. It has two types of different bronzers and then two types of different blushes. One's more peachy, the other one's more pink. Still really, really beautiful and I love how they included a picture of themselves on the inside. They're definitely always snatched when it comes to their contour and blush. So it's awesome that they included that in this collection. Only thing that I would say that I would add on to the collection that needs it is a highlighter definitely maybe like put something in the middle if not replace maybe one of the blushes so they definitely are keeping us looking snatched and fatty on a budget so let's get started on the look so if you hear some noise in the background it is because my mom is on the phone I already know that in a hispanic household mothers are always talking on the phone 24 7 and i can't prevent that as you can see i'm a blank canvas right now i'm gonna go in with the murillo twins quad goals palette now this is like the contour bronzer blushes in this room what did you do i just can't get enough too caught up in your love i've been trying to forget but you won't let me 
not going to lie, I was expecting a little bit more out of this. The blushes, as you can see, I have blush on my face, but you can't even really tell. And I was digging in the blush with my brush for a while. When I always see them, I always see them looking snatched and their bronzers looking snatched and all that stuff. I thought that this bronzer would be a little bit more pigmented too. The deeper one definitely did the job, but the lighter one was still a little bit too light it just doesn't transfer onto your face with a brush like it does swatching it so i feel like this one definitely needs a little bit more uh pigment and this one was something i was really really excited and looking forward to since i applied blush and bronzer i'm gonna apply my highlighter off camera and i shall be right back to do the eyes and lips by the way if you're wondering what highlighter i used i used one of my all-time favorites the Anastasia Amrizi highlighter. Now on to the palettes. I'm gonna be using both palettes, the Britney and Brianna palettes. I think I'm gonna go more for a halo eye today. So off the Brianna palette, I am gonna use two shades. I'm gonna use Turn the F Up and it's lit. Actually three I lied. And Double Vision right here. It's lit right here and turn the F up right here. Double vision and I'm lit. I'm gonna use them in the center part of my halo to lighten it up. And then obviously the, the glittery part I am gonna use as a topper. Off the Britney palette, I am gonna go ahead and use rose. So I'm gonna go in with rose to diffuse the pink shade and to blend the pink shades out. And then I'm gonna go in with Brit Brat, which is the purple, to add a little bit more of color and definition to my halo. Okay, not gonna lie, because of how the quad goals palette went, I thought this wasn't gonna be as pigmented, but these shades upon first stamp, this pink shade is hella pigmented and I am loving it. I just can't stop thinking about you. I just can't stop thinking about you. you. I just can't stop thinking about you. Okay, them uh, transition shades, they don't come to play because they are very pigmented. I am so shocked by these shades. I ended up adding the purple shade off the Britney palette on my lower lash line and then I ended up blending it out off the Brianna palette with the turnt the F up shade. Off this palette, I didn't really get much fallout. So if you're wondering about fallout, it's not a huge issue. I did get more fallout, however, off the purple. So I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up, but this purple definitely has more fallout. Now the sparkly shade is super, super pretty. As you can see, very pigmented. However, when I was using the brush, it did not pop up as much when I was using my finger, which a lot of shades tend to do that. This one's more on the dramatic side. This look is not too, too dramatic. So I think I'm gonna go in with these instead. These are the Brianna style and these are more like fluffy in my opinion. And for mascara, I'm gonna go in with my Bad Gal Bang mascara from Benefit and I will be applying my lashes off camera. For the lips, I am gonna use the lip liner in Poppin. And then I'm gonna go in with the Brie Brie lipstick. It's so cute, it's so cute. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna add gloss as a topper, but I might go in with the gloss just to try it out. Get that good, good to react right. So tell me where we on the day, babe. I could keep that same energy. When you go low, I go low too. But you'd rather stay high, I know you. Can we stay high, babe? I'd rather be on that. 
I did end up going in with the gloss. One thing I do have to say is I'm so glad that this gloss is light pigmented and not sticky. It's not sticking to my lips at all, which is amazing. Lipstick was definitely creamy as well. It is not matte, more of like a velvet finish in my opinion. So if you don't like fake fragrance, it does have fragrance, but it smells like shea butter. They both smell really, really good and it smells like shea butter. Okay, I'm admitting that a couple things I said got acidic in the town and the presence I get careless. Long so overall, I am super, super, super happy about this collection. The only thing that I would have changed was probably the pigmentation off the bronzers and probably add a highlighter. I believe that this collection would have been just top notch if they would have added a highlighter. And come on now. All that makeup that we just received, basically 70 bucks. It doesn't happen very often, especially as influencers. I am super, super, super happy about this collection. The lashes, everything, the lips, they killed it. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so, 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 so much for watching. We'll leave the link down below. I don't know if they have restocked since I have purchased. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling this collection. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling this collection. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, hello, hello. Hi to the new subscribers. I appreciate you guys so, so much. And I hope you guys have a beautiful, wonderful, fabulous night or day wherever you guys are located. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys. Peace.